Hello, it's Eric with VBAHowTo.com with another video. Today we're gonna I'm gonna talk about uh, an, an incrementer on uh, in Access, and I'm going to stop and record. Hey, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com coming at you with another video. This is an Access database that adds a little counter. Sometimes you want to count the times that a button has been clicked or uh, and a form has been opened. Uh, you want to find out how many times it's been opened and all that. Well, Access, every time you open up the, the form and close it, it has a, uh, the, the variable will be destroyed. So you're going to have to store the value of the variable somewhere. So what I'm doing here is storing the value of the variable inside of a table and of course that didn't uh that's not destroyed whenever they whenever the database is closed out so when i open it and i set it at zero okay so and again you can get this database at vbahowto.com okay uh, it's real really easy so here we have a click to increment counter as you can see, my counter goes up, and if I go ahead and close the database out, I'm going to close it out, and re oh, reopen it. Where did it go? Well, <clears throat> I just destroyed the whole damn video. Okay, I killed it. I'm going to kill it. Hi, it's Eric with VBAHowTo.com coming at you with a video. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make an access counter. Something like uh, when you open up a form, it goes ahead and counts and increments. Uh, if you want to open a database to count each time a database has been opened, uh, it's going to do that. Now, it's like a session variable. Well, the session variables, session variables are destroyed each time the, the browser is closed, if you're talking about an HTML language. But uh, when in Access, when a form is closed, the variable is actually destroyed. So here I have, here I have, uh, I'm at 9 right now, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. And so it keeps going up. Uh, whenever I close the form and reopen it, it's going to maintain the, it's going to read a, a, the value from the table. And as you know, anything you store on the table is going to, uh, it's going to stay, it's going to stay fixed yeah, because it's part of, part of Access. So, uh, it's like a big loss in data. And here I just pick up where I left off at 26. I close it. Uh, reopen it and 20 27 28 anyway so the values are stored over here in TBL logger okay if I decide I'm gonna reset it and again this is a, a real easy uh, a real and of course I'm gonna have to reopen the reopen the form and bang okay real easy real easy to do I'm going to show you the code behind it. Right quick, get this database and the code at vbahowto.com. Uh, look also in the, the comment section underneath. Uh, so, LNG counter, I'm doing a use a D lookup to look up the value of my table. I could use a record set, but I'm not. So, I'm just using a D lookup. Real easy. This do events uh, allows me to see the changes I'm making to the counter, to whatever the counter is. And here, um, whenever I click the button, I'm looking up the value in the database. I'm getting the current value. I'm adding one to it. I'm going ahead and showing it in the message box. And then I'm updating the, the table using using this SQL statement and the current DB dot execute method to update update the table 
again, I go ahead and have to go out there to vbahowto.com and hope hope this provide a lot of a lot of useful service to you. Hope that this provides a lot of useful service to you. And uh, uh, if you have an idea for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and I'll see if I'll make one. And also be sure to like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.